You will not recheck our scores? Fine, have fun with unemployment. Posted by Peach G Fuel. For context, I've been working in this health insurance company for the past uh, three years, and I recently took another position with better hours and better pay. But this time, it was to coordinate appointments with doctors and specialists. My metrics were always great, and the reason I was selected for the new position was due to my metrics. This had been brewing since October of 2022. We used to have a coworker, let's call her Karen. Karen is this old lady that thinks she knows it all and everything she says is right, and she often blames everything on someone else. Typical Karen activities. The first time I interacted with her was back in October when I messaged her via our work chat because she messed up prior authorization for a patient and the MD office was calling to have the person that created the authorization fix the issue. The conversation went like this. I said, hi, good morning. I have an MD office calling requesting to speak to you in regards to a prior authorization that looks incomplete. Karen says, and you can help them? This is a call center you're supposed to help and I don't even know who that MD is. You're correct, this is a call center, however, you created the authorization, and as you know, I cannot fix authorizations that weren't created by me. And also, they would like to speak with you specifically. I also provided her the patient record number and the MD office phone number. Well, I'm not available to talk to them. Okay. I went back to the call, and I specifically told the MD what she said, including the she's not available to talk, but hopefully she will call them back to fix the issue. I also sent a message to my direct supervisor with a screenshot of our conversation and I simply said, this is unprofessional, especially in an environment like ours. Fast forward the start of the year and Karen took a position with our quality assurance department due to them being understaffed. I used to work in the QA department and I knew the ins and the outs and I knew that she would be assigned to our department since she already had the experience. So for context, our quality assurance gives us scores from 100, and if we miss something, we get points deducted. So for example, you miss HIPAA, it's minus 20. You give inaccurate info, minus 10. If you don't advise people for our survey, minus 5, and, and so on. So in January comes my first bad score in three years in the company. It was a 56%. And I was astonished because it's the first time that I've had a bad score. But I also make sure that this score is correct, and our company gives us a choice to listen to our calls just to be sure, just in case the quality agent made a mistake. I listened to my call and, well, I did everything right. I completed the information, I provided good service, and I asked if the patient needed assistance with anything else, and provided the closing script. On the quality note, it was stated that I didn't offer any help, and that I didn't even complete HIPAA. I sent it to my supervisor, and he stated that when I offered the closing script, the patient asked something and I replied and disconnected the call. Okay? I still said the closing script and his question, and my answer literally lasted 5 seconds. My supervisor still went to her and managed to fix the score to a 95% because she felt like I didn't provide a survey. If someone's worked in a call center, you know that the metrics are everything, and one bad thing will quickly not get your monthly bonuses, and on top of that, we get our butts handed to us by management because if we don't achieve the metrics, they also don't get bonuses. So I took screenshots of our conversation, and I saved it in a file, and then I sent it to my personal email since I know our IT department is known for deleting anything that's not a working system or appropriate. So fast forward three days ago, or April 18th, I had received several scores ranging from 85% to 80% and only one 100% score. The 100 score, I received it because Karen wasn't the one who audited my call and the other person found everything alright. But the 85% looked fishy since the first thing you see is the patient name and I quickly remembered the call because the person was funny and I enjoyed the call. I listened to the call and of course I did everything perfectly. However. Karen put on the system that she deducted 10 points for not telling the patient that he had a copay for the visit and another 5 points for extending the call. What? I contacted my supervisor and let him know of what happened, however I didn't receive a response. I was confused, so I sent a message to a coworker who had told that they had been having the same issue with Karen with the inaccurate audits and the department is not achieving their monthly goals due to it. Since my supervisor didn't reply, I did what everyone does when management doesn't reply. Well, I messaged Karen, and I sent her a message that just said, Hey, I have seen some inaccurate audits, and I would like to know if you could recheck them since I listened to the calls and everything was done properly. The reply I received was, All audit scores are final and cannot be appealed. 
I knew it was a lie since I worked with quality before and I know it could be changed. I replied, hey, you know, I worked in that department for one year and I know it could be rechecked and reversed, right? Karen said, your previous position is irrelevant in this matter. If you don't like the score, you can go ahead and submit a complaint to my supervisor. I replied, okay, have a good day, knowing that her supervisor knows me really well. Q malicious compliance. I just didn't create one formal complaint. I created one complaint for each time that she scored me incorrectly. Not only that, but I also told my 19 coworkers what she said and advised them that if they would like their scores overturned and rechecked, they could send a complaint to her supervisor, but only send one complaint per bad score. And also to let you guys know, we don't get one audit a month. <laughs> no, no, no. We get audited 10 times per month. In the span of 24 hours, her supervisor must have received around 200 complaints from our department, complaining for one person, Karen. The first complaint was mine with Karen's conversation, saying that all decisions are final and she cannot recheck or overturn, and also saying to submit a complaint to her supervisor. Her supervisor sent me a message saying that they will evaluate all the complaints and scores and we will be receiving a message. That was on Monday, April 17th. Tuesday, we didn't get any messages. Wednesday, I couldn't go to work due to my illness. But today, on April the 20th, I received a message from her supervisor stating that my scores have been reviewed and properly scored. And also stating that my supervisor will be under investigation because any complaint should be submitted to his manager and he never submitted anything. And that the employee has been terminated. <laughs> But the best part is logging into our chat and seeing Karen's profile with no pictures and instead of her name, it only said unknown user. The morale of our group is better and I hope we don't have issues again. Oh man, this is just awesome because you think it's just going to be nice little MC, right? You get the job done type stuff, but then you find out, oh, we are going in as a group together, 20 people strong. Oh, we have all complaints against this Karen who gets into the position that I or OP was in thinking she knows it all, but then I have some back issues there and I know more. Well then that's 200 complaints to go to the supervisor and just completely obliterate Karen. So I'm thinking supervisor's gonna, you know, poor guy's gonna be a bystander to this here. Turns out he's messed up too and doesn't send the stuff to his manager. So everybody, like, like the castle has now crumbled and fallen down on all of these. It's not, it's, it's like the piggies with the straw house and the stick house. That is what they're constructed of. This was an amazing job for OP to tear this whole thing down, destroy this operation, and get justice. This story is completely wild, and I had a lot of fun with the voices for it, so <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Do your job. Okay, Karen. Posted by Not the Golden Child 616. So I work in online fulfillment at a large home, garden, and building supply store. Mysterious. My job title comes into play later as technically we aren't supposed to work with customers directly, just point them in the right direction or find another associate who works in that department. I had a massive order to grab, several heavy and large pieces of sheet metal and screws. Problem is, the sheet metal size I need isn't where it's meant to be, so I'm having to scan pretty much, well, everything to figure out what's what. Bigger problem? This lingering in the wild, sadly, put me at a range of a wild Karen attack. Wild Karen in a raging harpy voice says, are you gonna help me or not? I'm suddenly very confused looking at her, especially as she hasn't spoken to me at all. She says increasingly annoyed, well, I've been standing over there forever and you haven't offered to help me. I say, uh, my bad, I can try? I don't work in this department, so it depends if suddenly actively hostile Karen says, try? Ugh. No, you will. It doesn't matter if you work in this department or not. I'm taking calming breaths so I don't lash back, wondering what this woman's problem is. Uh, okay, what do you need? Definitely unable to control annoyance in my tone as this woman is yelling at me. This! I'm not joking when I say she proceeds to suddenly pull out a screw and nearly stab me in the eye, shoving it towards me. 
I push her hand away, feeling much less calm as I have PTSD reactions to people putting hands in my face, much less of a freaking screw. Now I'm visibly shaking. Okay, ma'am, screws are at the end of the aisle on the left. What? I already know that. I'm angrily replying, oh, okay, what size is that? What size do you need? Even angrier, Karen replies, you tell me. She takes a step closer as if she's trying to seem threatening. I'm unable to hold back and say, I have no clue, ma'am. There is an entire wall of screws. It's impossible for me to tell its size just by looking at it. You will not come at me like that. She says me like she's some royal and I should feel afraid. Your manager would not like that. I no longer give two craps, and I say, you think? Well, I could get a manager if you'd like. Maybe one of them can identify the screw by sight. Don't make me mad today. Just do your job. Cue what could count as malicious compliance. I realized that I'd already told her exactly where that product is that she needed and where it would be located. Yes, ma'am. I walked away from her to my trolley and proceeded to continue looking for the items on my order. What are you doing? doing my job. What was funny was, an aisle over, one of our assistant managers actually was nearby. With Karen ranting and stomping like a toddler, I walked over when I noticed him and told him that I had two issues. One, can't find the item, and two, I got a Karen that he may want to talk to. He laughed and showed me where the correct size sheet metal improperly was and totally ignored her, same as I was, until she huffed loudly and stormed away. I don't think she liked that my manager did like how I handled the situation. Okay, look, is it just me or is this Karen like next level Karen? Because you know she's coming at you angry, right? And you're like, oh, not this again. And then she pulls out a screw, threateningly act like she's gonna stab you with a piece of metal. You don't know where that's been. You don't know where she's got it from. Is it rusted? Are you gonna get stabbed? Have to go to the hospital? What about a tetanus shot? There's so much stuff here and being that she's a Karen, you don't have any idea. It's mysterious, right? Just like the position was at the start of this title. It's all mysterious. It's a grab bag. You reach in, you don't know what you're going to get. You might get a nice piece of candy, or you might get bitten by a snake. Karen is the snake in, in this example here, as you probably know. OP, good job holding your cool as, as well as you did. I know it was tough, but holy crap, you had a day, man. You had a freaking day. OP nailed it. Karen got screwed. Hammer down, OP, and drill that MC in. How about some dad joke humor for this one? The Karen of my building told me her keycard isn't working, demanded that I fix her keycard. So I did. Posted by I'm the one who. This just happened like maybe five minutes ago and I think it's hilarious. I'm the facility manager for my building. Everything that happens and goes wrong is my responsibility. So I make sure that everything runs smoothly. My boss has made it clear. It's my building and I was hired to not only keep people in line, but run everything. I'm not a jerk, but I do hold people accountable forcibly, but politely. There was no facility manager for a long time before I came along, and both clients and employees ran amok with no order. In the four months that I've been here, my boss has praised my performance and has gone to bat for me countless times. She is the best boss that I have ever had. I've got a firm but fair approach, and my reputation reflects that. So I've got a Karen in the building, <laughs> and trust me, the name stereotype applies, who's just a counselor for family services, has nothing to do with our group. She likes to complain about well, everything and gives my boss a headache almost daily. She shares an office with another woman who, unfortunately, picks up on her Karen tendencies. She's like a Karen in training. I've been doing a keycard audit all week, and I knew to leave Karen's keycard alone because she's the only Karen in the building, so her name stands out. I am missing 75 keycards, lots of former employees having all door access, dating all the way back to 2015. You can't have that, so I deleted a lot of them, especially if it'd be like a wacky name or just like a room number or something. However, I did delete Kit's card information, Karen in training, because it wasn't under her name. She just came to tell me her keycard wasn't working and Karen happened to be passing by and overheard it. I went and fixed Kit's keycard and we went to go check to see if it worked or not. We found Karen outside the office waiting, complaining to my boss that her keycard didn't work either. Karen wandered away and my boss rolled her eyes and I smiled and I told her that I would take care of it. 
After checking to make sure Kit's keycard worked, I went downstairs to check the system, looked up Karen, and hey, wouldn't you know it, her keycard was completely fine. In fact, it showed that she had a master keycard. So I changed all of her permissions and I limited her back to just her room only. So I went upstairs and I got my boss's attention because her office is next door to the ladies and I mouthed, listen, and pointed. I opened their door and was all, hey Karen, I went and checked your key card in the system. Everything is good to go. In fact, <laughs> it said you had a master key to the building and well, per the company orders, so since you're not a contractor or a company employee, I can't give you that access. So I had to revoke your status to just this room only. Can't have you bugging people on official business, <laughs> as I winked. Thanks for bringing your key card to my attention. She started to object that she needed that master key card because X, Y, Z, and I was all, yeah, sorry, maybe before, but I'm the facility manager and you don't need access to everything except this office. And hey, if you do, it's outside your pay grade, so you'll have to come get me, okay? Cool, thanks, bye. And then I just closed the door on her mid-sentence. My boss was quietly laughing her butt off in her office and gave me an air high five. <laughs> this is funny, right? Because she's all thinking that, oh, I, I'm going to say my key card's not working, blah, blah, blah. And it turns out it's actually working and she's just being a Karen. And, and then he checks it out, right? And, and it turns out she's got a master key. She can go everywhere and she's not supposed to go everywhere anymore. <laughs> so does a little MC, right? On the key card, revokes everything, breaks the news to Karen in a totally sarcastic, sly, sneaky, and nice little way, just as a response to a Karen, right? And then boom. Nails that MC. Karen got what was coming to her. In a funny way. She had the keys to the kingdom and you snatched them right up from her. Nice job, man. I got a lying Karen fired with a restraining order. You don't want to miss this nuclear revenge styled malicious compliance. Click the video on your screen and I'll see you there.